Welcome to the National Shrine here in Perryville, Missouri. We're so glad you're here. No matter where you are on your journey, make sure you take time to reflect, pray, and leave here full of faith and hope. This whole special area that was settled uh, when a group of priests came from Italy. Part of the grounds at that time was the seminarians and a seminary to train priests. This is an incredible place. It's a place full of history, of religion, of faith, and spectacular inspiration. The church was uh, consecrated in 1837. The grotto itself came around almost 100 years later in the early 1900s. And of course, the new Rosary Walk came around in 2018, all because Vincentian priests and brothers came here, settled the land in hopes of spreading Catholicism. So this history is so important. And this visit, where you are today, is such a special place. And we hope that you enjoy every moment At the beginning of the Rosary Walk, um, there's a there's a statue of the Blessed Blessed Mother, and there's a kneeler in front of it. And when you kneel at that statue of the Blessed Mother and you look over her shoulder, just up the hill, you see another statue of her son, Jesus Christ. It's just to put your hand in her hands, it just you can talk to her. And walking through the through the grounds on the Rosary Walk, I, it's all special. Just I think it moves your heart the further you get down to the grotto. There's so many benches out on the Rosary Walk that are strategically placed that you, you can sit on any one of them and uh, enjoy the surroundings and the spiritual feeling of, of of the grounds. I like the meditation walk. There are 12 statues of Mary and from different apparitions of Mary in different parts of the world. The beauty is just spectacular. So that's the power to me of this, of this special place is looking out and seeing moms and dads with kids because as they go through here, it's, it's impossible not to feel spiritually motivated and inspired, but also educated. Uh, a little bit about their own faith and where they're going and their journey. There is such peace that one can find that I find personally as I'm walking through this rosary walk and I end up down at the, at the grotto that it really is overwhelming. It's, it's, it's such a wonderful experience. And every time I'd go to the grotto, I would stop and, and pray and just look up at her in, in awe. And if I had a, a kind of a challenging day, I would just bring those to, to Blessed Mother. And, and when I was done with my walk and when I was done visiting with her down at the grotto, I just felt a weight was lifted off my shoulders. Whatever it is that I've brought here with me, I can leave right there. And I can just unload whatever that baggage of the day or the week or the month or whatever it might be. I can just unload it right there. It's an overwhelming feeling of uh, just, just a sense of peace and sense of beauty. I would also say the room we're standing in right now with all of these candles that are lit around us, there are candles that are lit in here for my parents and for my in-laws just as a way of remembering them. Each one of those has a name associated with them. And each one of those names has a family. And there's some reason that that candle is burning here because it's important to someone that that candle continue to burn. God takes us on these winding paths and we, and we don't really know oftentimes where we're going or have a sense that it's going anywhere. It was a real pilgrimage, you know, a little couple of hours of just uh, getting refocused. And then once you get on the campus here, it's just um, 
the whole place is geared towards uh, prayer and solitude. The particular altar behind us right now is uh, a favorite of mine, of course. It's Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal. And the, uh, the imagery, the, the verse around Our Lady, O Mary conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. I think it highlights Our Lady's role. My hope for people that come to visit this great place, that when they leave here, they're spiritually recharged, they're renewed, they're invigorated to be a great person, a great model of their faith. I want them to be empowered, uh, perhaps a little educated, and engaged in the rest of their life and what they're doing. And just come back here as a charging place, as a place to reconnect, to uh, relax, rejuvenate, and get that spirit back that they need to accomplish whatever they want. I welcome you to the grounds. I welcome you to the Church of the Assumption. And I welcome you to Our Lady Shrine. You have came here for a reason. You were drawn here for a reason. We're happy you're here. Welcome. Whether you start here in this beautiful church or make your way down to the grotto, we hope you leave here inspired, full of faith, and enjoy the history that this special place has to offer. We're so glad you're here. Enjoy your visit. Ask about our free guided tours and enjoy your prayerful time here. <laughs>